Welcome back to our tour around Mieg Archipelago. In the first episode, we presented many attractive traits of Bailey Island and Smart Island altogether. Since most visitors usually take the whole day to visit the two islands, they would usually retire at Mieg City, while a few others stayed at the two islands overnight and explore more of the nature offered. Don Yomai Village on Don Island is the first village where visitors can stay overnight beyond COVID period. As such, some visitors choose to stay in Don Island and tour around near islands accordingly. It takes about 30 minutes to sail from Smart Island to the Don Island. To further explore and highlight the pristine beauty of Don Island, we'll be presenting a new program titled Don Yao Mai, a new tourism spot. So please look forward to it. In the east of Don Island, there is a beautiful natural waterfall known as Don Waterfall, which flows from high above into the sea. The waterfall offers fresh water for local residents, travelers, and any fishermen passing by the island. ဒါဒါဆောင်ငါပေါ်ခွင့်ပြုချက်ရပြီးတဲ့အချိန်မှာတော့နတမီးယူရင်ကြောင်းနဲ့စကားကတဲ့လို့ပြောလို့ရပါ
ပင်လေးတွေမြင်တဲ့ခရုနာနေပြီအဲ့တော့သူတို့ပိုပြီးတော့စိတ်ဝင်စာနောက်ပိုင်းသူတို့ကိုယ်တိုင်အတွက်
Another interesting highlight for tourists to explore on the Teodadanji Island is Pale Dagoon Pearl Farm. Surrounded by crystal clear water, Miek Archipelago is an area rich in biodiversity. As such, visitors can explore pearl farming and the production processes of said pearls besides the breathtaking view of the underwater world that exhibits the natural habitat of aquatic animals during their visit. Farming oysters from their larval stage until they can produce pearls. Good quality miek pearls are always being produced at the Pale Dagoon Pearl Farm. Visitors to the farm can see the whole process involved in the production of pearls, such as oyster breeding, culturing, grafting. And finally, the harvesting of pearls. In addition, they can explore the floating wraps of culturing oysters around the farm and the processes of cleaning and caring for oysters, which are done on a timely basis. Pearl is the only gem that comes from a living creature, an oyster. Due to the old beliefs where wearing pearls can bring good luck and prosperity to the wearers, people have value and worn it since the olden days. In the past, people used to dive and find pearls that are naturally formed inside the oysters under the surface of the sea. However, pearls are being cultivated and produced using modern techniques nowadays. Pearls cultivated on Myanmar's Golden South Sea are very popular in both local and international pearl markets. Furthermore, pearls produced in Miek Archipelago is the symbol of Miek City and also one of the honorable marine resources of the country. Apart from the island tours of Don Waterfall, the Yodaranji Island, and the Palais Dagon Pearl Farm, Miek Archipelago still have so much more to offer to keep visitors and tourists alike mesmerized with its priceless treasures and attractions. As such, in the next and final episode, we'll be showcasing the famous wing-shaped island with clear emerald water called the Daomanji Island and the beauty of the king of all islands, Lei Island. So stay tuned, folks. <laughs>